Nicole is back and she's ready to party. Today I am playing once again episode Choose Your Story and um, this is my third part to this series. If you haven't seen the first two, make sure you go watch those or else you're gonna be very confused. But yeah, let's just get right into this. Honestly, I'm really hoping that there's gonna be some, some juiciness in this episode because I'm getting a little bored, not gonna lie, like nothing's happened. Episode four, helping a friend. Nicole says, hey Vera, where are you? Not coming to school today. I've got a stomach thing. Vera sounds like she's lying once again. Take a vitamin and come to school. <laughs> Great advice. I need you today. Look, Nicole, I just need to stay home today. I'll see you tomorrow. This day sucks. <laughs> Stupid best friend has a stomach thing. <laughs> her. I'm so angry. Oh, here comes Charlie. Oh, Charlie says, this day sucks. Oh my God, great minds think alike. I've tried to talk to Emma three times today, but she keeps ignoring me. Emma, why is she Why is he trying to talk to Emma? Why is he trying to talk to that bitch? What does she have that I don't? <laughs> Honestly, everything. Don't look surprised, she's hot. Okay, so you're into her? After the party, well, I couldn't stop thinking about her. I'm sorry, what? It was because she was in his neck. Boys love that. I need your help. Obviously, there's something wrong with her. What? Oh, he means like, cause she's missing. <laughs> Oh, I drank coffee today for the first time in like five million years and I'm really feeling it. I just thought I'd let you know. Has it ever crossed your mind that some girls just don't find you attractive? <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> just... <gasps> so will you talk to Emma for me? What do I get out of it? I'll do your homework for a week. Is he just trying to make me jealous? Cause I have a feeling he's just trying to make me jealous. <sighs> All right, for a month. I'm thinking, I don't like him. I don't, right? Honestly, I don't know anymore. I don't know what Nicole is thinking. Like, she's out of my hand. Maybe this is a sign that Eric is the one I should be trying to date after all. But Eric is boring. Like, he's too nice. You know what I mean? <sighs> so, what do you say? Um, only if you do my homework for two months. If you set me up with Eric, actually, I'll help you for free. I'll say actually, I'll help you for free because, like, I'm an unbothered queen. Ah, uh, forget it. I'll help you for free. Okay, what's the catch? No catch, I promise. You expect me to believe that? Fine, I trust you. I think. You shouldn't, Charlie. Charlie, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Business? This is stupid. I'm gonna sabotage their relationship. Do me a favor and don't tell anybody we talked about this, okay? What? Don't want people finding out big cool Charlie has a little bitty crush and a little bitty penis. <laughs> Someone stop me. Come on, Nicole. Please. I'm gonna say you can trust me. Obviously, I'm trying to gain his trust so I can break his heart. Come on, you know you can trust me. Yeah, I know. Thanks. <laughs> Fade to black. Hey, oh, fuck, here she comes. Hey, Nicole, wait up. You bitch, get away from me, Becky G. I saw you talking to Charlie at lunch. Did he say anything to you? Did she like give him a love potion or something? Because I don't get it. I can say he said you shot him down or just the regular stuff. I'm gonna say just the regular stuff. Uh, nothing unusual, just regular school stuff, you know. Oh, that's it? He's um been trying to get me to go out with him ever since the party. It sounds like there's a butt coming. I sure hope so. <laughs> but I wanted to talk to you about it first since, you know, what, our kiss? It was just a dare, don't worry about it. Okay, thanks. But there's more. Nikki overheard him today. She's super jealous. Excuse me? <laughs> Here she comes. Why is she still wearing the dress? Like, me, jealous of you? Please, get a grip. Go away, Nikki. Listen up. Charlie is like a puppy. He just wants attention. Honestly, true. If you think for one second that he's for real into you, think again. Stay as... <laughs> stay far away... F <laughs> Wait, fuck, I can't read. Stay far away if you know it's good for you. <laughs> she blew a kiss. This is a nightmare. It sucks you have to live with her. I'm sorry things aren't going to work out with Charlie. <laughs> bitch, no you're not. Are you? Are you sorry, Nicole? Um, excuse me, I just offended you, bitch. What's that supposed to mean? You kissed him, I saw how both of you reacted. I told you it was a dare, if you say so. Will you just tell Charlie that I like him, but now it's just not a good time? I'm gonna say, of course I will. Of course I will, Emma. He'll be happy to hear it. I wish I could talk to him myself, but if Nikki found out, say no more. I'll see you later, Nicole. Okay, I hate this bitch. Why is everyone in this game fake? Like, oh, Vera, look who showed up. Hey girl, how are you feeling? Not great. It's Marcus. Marcus talked to me yesterday before lunch. He said he didn't want to ruin our friendship. So I caught him sick this morning. I didn't want to face him. I'm gonna say he's being an idiot because he is. You know I love Marcus, but he's being an idiot, right? <laughs> We're all friends. Nothing can ruin that. Good point. We're all friends. We could all do something together. Me and Marcus, you and Eric. I don't know, Vera. Don't worry, no Charlie and no Emma. 
but I want Charlie. I don't even want him. Who told you about Emma and Charlie? Emma did, the entire time you were hiding in the closet at the party. It drove her crazy to watch you kiss him. I mean, like, not my fault though. It was a dare. It was just a dare. But was it just a dare? No. It looked like you were about to eat each other. <laughs> I wish. Look, I don't like Charlie like that. You can't fool me, but I won't talk you into liking him. I've said since day one that he's bad news for you. Okay, Vera, shut up. Maybe this is a sign to go for Eric? What is her obsession with me and Eric? Like, chill out. You know what? You're right. No, you're not. He's cute. I mean, he does have dull lip hair, but that's fine, I guess. Buzz buzz. Speaking of the devil, Eric, what did he say? I'll read it out loud. Hey you, we never got to finish our talk. Look, I'm into you. Give me a chance. So Eric is the type of person to reveal his feelings over a text message? <laughs> That's so cute. So what do you say? Double date with me and Marcus? It'll definitely make Charlie jealous. Wow. <sighs> what just came out of me? I think I'm possessed. Somebody call an exorcist. They really do a good job of like getting you to spend money on this game. I don't know. Let me think about what I actually want to do. But if I go on a date with Eric, then Charlie will think I'm into Eric and he won't be into me anymore because he's like, I'm going to be playing these games. But if I don't do it, then I could miss out a really fun opportunity to make Charlie jealous. Why am I thinking about this so hard? Okay, I'm not going to spend money. Tell Vera you won't help her. Sorry, bitch. Sorry, Vera. I think you're on your own for this one. Okay, no big deal. Well, you're a bad friend, so you don't deserve my help. Um, Eric just shows up out of nowhere. Oh, hey, Nicole. What are you doing here? I'm checking on Vera. What are you doing here? Same. Marcus told me what happened. Vera, are you alright? Yeah, I will be. He's making too big a deal out of it, I'm for sure. We're all friends. <laughs> so, Nicole, I got my car outside. Want to see a movie with me? I'll say of course I do. Okay, so I didn't even pay for it, but I still get to go on a date with him. Episode, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Of course I do, Eric. It took you too long enough. Eric, give us a second while Nicole gets ready. Yeah, please change out of this prostitute outfit. Just kidding, it's kind of cute. No pressure, but this could show Marcus there's nothing to worry about. If you guys have a good time, it might even make up for you bailing on dinner. I even have the perfect dress for you to borrow. Try it on. It's probably so ugly. And they're gonna make me pay for it. I just know they're gonna make me pay for it. Oh, wow. It's kind of cute. I still look like a prostitute, but like, in a good way. Wow, that dress is incredible on you. Okay, like, I'm not gonna pay for- They really are trying to get me to spend money on this game. You know what? Nice try, losers. Just wear your school clothes. Sorry, I don't feel like getting dressed up. Yeah, Eric doesn't deserve to see my midriff, even though I'm pretty sure the other outfit definitely shows it. The other, the, this outfit shows my belly button though, and belly buttons are way hotter than no belly buttons. Just a tip. Whatever, suit yourself, Nicole. Hey, Eric, we're ready. Wait, did you even change clothes, Nicole? Um, why is Eric so obsessed with my clothes? Like, he always is pointing it out. Let's just go. I'm gonna take my clothes off anyways. <laughs> oh, we ran into Charlie and Emma. Ew, they don't make a good couple. Sorry. Like, they look like brother and sister. Hey guys, are you going into the movies as well? Yeah, Nicole convinced me to give Charlie a shot. It's going pretty good. <laughs> just say that out loud. And by pretty good, she means amazing. Ew, Charlie. Like, since when did you become sweet? Seriously, thanks for listening to me, Nicole. It made me give Charlie a chance. Yeah, I guess I owe you too, Nicole. I hate this. Well, we won't disturb you then. Have a great night. Wait, what are you doing here? Competitive crocheting. What do you think we're doing in a movie theater, Charlie? <laughs> That's my girl with the attitude. But together? Duh. Oh, he's jealous. Yeah, man. See you later. Don't want to miss this epic movie. Okay, ew. And off we go. I have a strong feeling that Charlie is trying to make me jealous. Just a thought. Emma says, hello. Sorry, what did you say? We should go inside and get some popcorn. Yeah, sure. He's definitely trying to make me jealous. I know it. We had a great time, and then Eric dropped me off like a real gentleman. Um, a real gentleman would make out with me in the car. <laughs> Just saying. Ooh, Charlie looks mad. So you and Eric, huh? I love where this is going. <sighs> no, that was the end of the episode. Should I play another one? I'm gonna play another one. Fuck it. Episode 5, Uninvited Guest. So you and Eric, huh? We just wanted to see a movie. You two looked pretty cozy together. Are you guys dating? I'm gonna say that's none of your business. That's none of your business, Charlie. Whatever you say, Nicole. How was your night? Well, since I wasn't invited to your little friend's outing. Mm, my camera just cut off, so I don't really know what it missed. Just to recap, Charlie sounded jealous of Eric. There you go. Charlie almost sounded jealous of Eric last night. Ah, the plot thickens. But he's off limits now. He's with Emma. Well, you're going to see both Char Eric and Charlie at school today. Don't remind me. I'm freaking out. Do what you do best, Nicole. Look good. <laughs> Aw, that, that's what I do best? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Go naked. If you're thinking about rocking that killer crop top and skirt, then yes. 
they won't know what hit them. Ooh. Mm. Boom, baby. Nicole, you look fing stupid. She looks like she just left justice. Okay, just kidding. She actually looks like a stripper. I look incredible. No, you don't. This outfit is ugly. Like, let's be real. Go with something more casual. Hmm, maybe something more casual is best. Honestly, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Why do I like that one more? Like, she looks like a cute little college girl. Why do I like it? She looked five in the other one, like a five-year-old stripper. Not that those exist. Whatever. Hey, Nicole. I had a great time at the movie. Maybe we can do it again sometime? <laughs> Ew, Lisa, she's back. Did Nicole talk to you about me? I need to use a different voice for her. Did Nicole talk to you about me? You and I would be so perfect together. You smell like candy. <laughs> Ew. And also, why would he smell like candy? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Charlie's thinking, Lisa, move your big stupid head. Do you want to go for a walk after school? I'd love to. Sure, I just need to grab some books. Awesome. I'll meet you by the lockers. Oh, I kind of am starting to like Eric. <gasps> oh, they're talking to each other. But I'll be the one who has to comfort her when you break her heart. I won't break her heart. She's different. I have no idea how you can just stay friends with her. What? What is happening? Nicole! I didn't see you. Let's go for that walk, huh? Ooh, how pretty. Nicole, how do you feel about me? I'm gonna say I don't know yet. You're great and all, but I don't really know how I feel yet. I understand. I just need you to know that you can always count on me. No matter what, I'm here for you. Aw, thank you, Eric. I just have to ask you something. Yes? Have you and Charlie ever uh, hooked up? Just one drunk kiss at your party. Um, I'm gonna say, ooh, I'm gonna lie and I'm gonna say no way. Never. No way. Never. All right. You guys seem so close. I just had to ask. Yeah, we just have sleepovers, but like, it's no big deal. He's like really overprotective of you. Oh my god, that's so hot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I problems. We're literally living together, so of course. I see. Let's do another movie this weekend. Maybe with dinner first. Oh my god, I need an Eric in my life. What do you think? Um, sounds great. Sounds great. I love that. Awesome. Nicole, no matter what, I'm here for you. You already said that, Eric. Now you're being too nice. Buzz, buzz. Important? Text from Charlie. Nicole, come home. I have a surprise for you. It's my dick in a box. Ew, I'm disgusting. Let me guess. Charlie. Wow, that coffee's really getting to me. I can't stay still. <laughs> Reminder to Kennedy, don't drink coffee, especially when you need to film, film a video. Go ahead home, Nicole. I'll see you later. Eric, wait. No, don't wait. Leave. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, is that my mom? We've seen her for the first time. She looks very tired. Charlie, dinner was delicious. Thank you. My pleasure, ma'am. It's an old Australian recipe. Wasn't it basically grilled cheese? Everyone's a critic, but yes, basically. <laughs> Having you cook sure was a surprise. Not as good as your peanut. Though I did hope it was something more. <laughs> oh, the doorbell. Did you guys hear that? Was that the doorbell? I'll get it. Emma? Ew, what is this bitch doing here? Um, excuse me? Salem, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're literally on top of so many pillows. Get down. Emma? Hey, Nicole, is Charlie here? I really wanted to see him, but I don't want Nikki to know. Hey, lady, I got some fine Australian cuisine in the kitchen. Fuck, I just can't do it. That sounds amazing. Okay, full disclosure, they're leftovers. You sure know how to treat a girl. Um, isn't that funny because Emma's taking my leftovers? Yes, I am the worst. <laughs> <laughs> hey Vera, what's up? Sorry, Marcus and I finally talked. He said that he's been going through a hard time and that's why he's been so cold lately. It's just really not a good time for him to be dating anyone. Seriously? That sucks. I'm sorry, Vera. Yeah, it sucks a lot, but I'll get over it. You know what else sucks a lot? Nikki. <laughs> oh my god. I need help. Are you guys still friends? Yeah, he's making me dinner to show there's no hard feelings. Ooh, well that's something. Charlie actually just cooked us dinner tonight for just the two of you. Well, me and my mom, and Emma's over, so technically for her too. Emma's over? I guess she's not jealous of you anymore. Emma doesn't really seem like the jealous type. Well, you are living with her boyfriend. I'm gonna say they're not that serious. Come on, Emma and Charlie aren't dating, aren't seriously dating. Ahem, oh <laughs> Vera, I need to call you back. Salem, what are you doing? Nicole, you're worse than Nikki. What? Should I be mean? Sorry, I just gotta say it. Get over yourself. Get over yourself, Emma. <laughs> 
She just walked out. Should I go after her or should I give her some space? Honestly, she's been a, like a little, a little biatch. And wasn't she the girl that was flirting with Marcus too? I'm gonna say stay in your room. I Like she's not even nice. Why would I go after her? Probably best to steer clear for a while. Hey, Emma's gone. He's like, finally. Did you really say I'm not serious about her? It really made Emma upset. I'm gonna say it's my fault. It's my fault. I should have chosen my words more carefully. Foot and mouth, huh? I know how that goes. Charlie has a foot fetish? He likes feet in his mouth? That's hot. Just kidding, that's gross. Don't worry, I'm sure Emma will come around. You two can talk tomorrow. By the way, we're all going to the beach. Marcus's dad owns this epic house that we gotta borrow. I'm in, good. Maybe we can finally have some time alone. Bitch, we literally live together. Like we have time alone right now. What game is he playing? I don't know, but I like it. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. All right, you guys. Well, that concludes part three of playing episode. I really liked this one. There was a lot of juicy drama in it. Um, I think it just made a new enemy, or should I say Emma to me? Excuse me, shut up. Yeah, whatever. We'll see what happens in the next one. I'll film it as soon as possible. I know you guys really like this. And I do too. Why do I have a scrunchie on my wrist and a scrunchie in my hair? I'm all scrunchied out. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Ew. Ew. Love you so, so, so much. I just wish I could hug, hug you, hug all of you. Just right now. Bye. <laughs> Let me redo that. Bye. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry.